Here's the hard truth. People don't necessarily want you to succeed. And the bigger your dream, the more people that are gonna come out of the woodwork to try to stop you. As Oliver Emberton said, the only way to avoid pissing people off is to do nothing important. But if you're striving for something important, if you're trying to make real change, if there's something in your life that you are absolutely hell-bent to make happen, you have got to understand that you're gonna be fighting against something. People are going to be pushing back against you and it is going to be your ability to hold true to that vision that's going to determine whether you can pull it off. And as Victor Hugo said, you have enemies? Good. It means you stood up for something at some point in your life. And that's what people miss. They somehow want to get through this unscathed. They somehow hope that with this grand change that they want to make, that people just fall in love, that they see your vision, that they fall in line behind you and that they want you to lead them. That's not the way that people work. Having a vision already puts you in an incredibly rare group of people. Being able to see something that other people can't see, that is the role of a visionary, is literally to interpret the world that other people don't even know exists and bring it into fruition and get people excited about it, get them to fall in line. But understand, when you build an army, you will have an opposing force. But as Mark Twain said, keep away from those who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great ones, they make you believe that you too can become great. And that's the kind of person that you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with people that believe in you. You want to surround yourself with people that even when they can't see it, they can see you. Even when they don't understand what you're trying to build, they believe in you and they're willing to get in line and they're willing to meet that opposing force. And when you're able to galvanize people around your idea and push it forward and paint for them the world, not as it is, but as it could be, that's when you can make change. But you can't be afraid to piss people off. You have to know that they're coming for you and you have to be willing to fight. Because if you're not willing to fight, you might as well sit down now. So if you're gonna be one of the few that stands up, you've gotta stand up prepared for war. Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be, you don't deserve rest. You lazy, you don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You need to know your why and my why wakes me up every single morning. You don't get it. Listen to me very closely. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Find a man who's diligent at what he does and he shall stand before kings and not mean men. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me. I know who I am. Got enough respect for myself. I want them to beat me. They're never gonna beat you. They came close to that. And I'm telling you right now, 
I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you're about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. If it's my time, this is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. And right now, I need you to listen because we are going to go from A to Z. And I dare you, yes you, to make a choice and choose to change average into amazing, broken into booming, confusion into clarity, desperation into domination, endangered into exceptional, failure into first class, give up into go-getter, hopeless into hungry, Nah, nah, I gotta say it like Les Brown. You gotta be hungry. And what that means is your classroom has to be like your favorite place to eat. You gotta eat it. You gotta drink it. You gotta see the success. You gotta live the success. You gotta breathe the success. And you got this. And that's why you made the decision to change introverted into influence. Jacked up into jaw dropping. Knocked out into knowledge yourself. Last place into the leader of the pack. Minor into major. No chance into next level. Out of touch into outstanding. This is just a reminder of how powerful words can be as it relates to our mindset. So I need you to kill that negativity and speak that positivity into existence because those that can weather the storm, those that can fight through the adversity, those that can push through the problems are putting themselves in a position to prosper and winners like you understand. And that's why you chose to turn pain into passion, power and purpose. Quitters mentality into quality lifestyle, regret into redemption, sadness into superstar status, terrible into terrific, unlikely into upward bound, vindictive into victory, weakness into winning formula, X out into extraordinary, I know, I know, they start with E, but they're pronounced with an X, so we gonna make it work, yearning into yes, you can, and finally, from zero into zynormous, and that's how you go to the next level and win, not only in the classroom, but in every aspect of your life. Every morning, when your feet hit the floor, tell yourself today is the day. Today is the day I will be at my peak. Today is the day I will set my life up to win. Set my future up for success. Today is the day I plant seeds that will grow into greatness in my future. Today I will give my all every minute every moment with everyone I encounter. To live a great life, you gotta get your mornings right. Don't just wander out of bed and throw yourself aimlessly into the drama of this world. Set your foundation for a strong day which will lead to better habits and in time, a better life. Get up with purpose and develop a routine that works for you. Work out. Get your body moving. Create a habit that builds a strong body and a strong mind. Be grateful. Spend at least a few minutes in appreciation for all the things you do have and for all the opportunities that are coming your way today. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you I'm alive. Thank you I'm healthy. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my drive, my passion. Thank you for the opportunities coming my way today. I am ready. Set your goals and intentions for the day. No one will reach their most sought after destination if they don't know where their place is. What are you going to accomplish today? What miracles are you going to create today? Write them down. Believe you can do it and get to work. Start your day with power and intention. And you will live your life with strength and direction. This is my day. I control how I react to everything today. Today I will plant seeds for my future. Today I am alive. Today I am grateful. Today I look for the good. 
Today I notice opportunities. Today I execute. Visualize what you want from this day. Believe great things are coming. Meditate. Clear your mind of all negativity. This is your day. Set your life up to win. How you start your day often determines how you live your day. How you start your day determines your future. How you start your days consistently determines the quality of your life. You must set up a morning routine that gets you in a strong, positive mind frame, ready for anything this day will throw your way. Ask yourself the most important questions of all. If today were my last day on this earth, how do I want to live it? What example will I set? How will I treat others? Do not let your dreams go up in smoke. You have opportunity this day to make it your greatest day ever. Even if nothing comes this day, your attitude will be better than any other day. And that alone will lead to great things. You just keep doing that every day, growing, evolving, giving your all, and you will achieve great things. I guarantee you, the best day of your life, that day is today. Today is your chance to become who you were designed to become, to do better, to be better. Today will be the greatest day of my life. Today I am on purpose. Show me a successful person that aimlessly gets out of bed, wanders out into the crazy world, and succeeds at a high level. They don't exist. Get yourself together in the morning. Get up early. There's a reason why so many people get up earlier than the rest. No one can bother them. The early hours of the morning are the best time to think without distraction, to create, to set goals, and to clear your mind of any doubt or negativity. Do what works for you. Just build a strong foundation early in the morning, a strong foundation that will lead to a strong life. The first thing I do when I get up each morning is say thank you. Nothing in this world will get you in a stronger, clearer state of mind than starting your day with gratitude. Gratitude is not for every now and then. It's for every single day. Gratitude is not for weirdos. It's for winners. Successful people are grateful people. Stay away from social media and news. There's plenty of time to fry your brain for the rest of the day. The morning is time to clear your mind of crap and power it up with positive, powerful thoughts. If it works for you, get in some affirmations. Develop the mindset and belief of a winner. Stand like you already have it. Believe like you will get it. Know that it will come if you keep working toward it, if you keep finding out how you can get it. Prepare your meals for the day. Your body is your temple. Don't get stuck and have to feed it garbage. Your temple deserves solid foundations. Strong food, strong body. Strong body, strong mind. Strong mind, strong human. Today will be the greatest day of my life. Today I am on purpose. Those who live great lives know the power of the morning. The power of creating strong habits in the morning. A morning routine that will set you up for an unbreakable day. Wake up. Most of us are not really living. Ask yourself the question, can you thoroughly recall and remember the last seven days of your life? Did you do anything worthwhile? Did you make anything significant happen? Did you stretch, grow? Were you uncomfortable in new situations? And did you gain something? Were you expanding yourself, your life, and your beingness? Or were you holding yourself back? Because you're the only one who can tap your ultimate potential. You're the only person that can make your exact visions come to life. Your life is yours. No matter how much you've been conditioned to think or believe that you need to do this, that, and the other, that this is the right path, that this is what people are supposed to do, you are supposed to walk your path. The only thing that you're supposed to do is walk your own path. 
your road to success, what your gut, what your heart is telling you because it was given to you and nobody else. But if you did nothing towards that in the last seven days, what's to say that you will in the next? And if you didn't change anything the past year, what's it gonna take for you to wake up and do it this month? You need to spark something within you. You need to start a huge flame so the whole world can see. Whatever it is that you have to offer, it's time to take matters into your own hands. It is your responsibility to bring out the best in you. And in order to do that, you gotta wake up. This is my time. You understand me? It don't matter what you tried to do, you couldn't destroy me. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. And I always will be. Whatever it is that you're lacking, whatever you say you're missing, whatever it is that you're trying to reach out for, create it within yourself. If you can only understand what I'm saying here, that's the first step of getting it into your life, of attracting it. From nothing to something. You've probably heard all the stories about all the greats and how they did it. But what about your story? What about your gift and contribution to the universe? What are you gonna do for yourself and the people around you? What effect are you leaving behind you? Another average and mediocre life? Or something to remember? The sun rises, did you see it, did you feel it, the light comes up on the day that is yours, did you see it, or were you sleeping, see it's time to wake up, it's time to wake up and feel the dream that is in your heart. It's time to wake up before the sun rises and see the light shine on your dream. It's time to wake up and see the sun rise, to see the light shine on the thing in your life that you're called to do. Because that sun is rising whether you're awake or whether you're not. So it's time to wake up, it's time to wake up, it's time to let the energy fill your body, that you go into your day, that you go into this thing that you're about to do right now, and you do it with the best of everything you got. Everything you got. This time. This time's not going to be like last time. This time you're not gonna do it with half the effort, with 75% of the effort. This time you're not gonna get to the finish line and rest. This time you're gonna go through that finish line. This time is your time to finish what it is that you have started. This time, because there is no more time that is guaranteed in your life than this time. There may not be a next time. There may not even be one. So this time, do it. Just do it. Just get it done. Just get it done. There ain't much more thinking about it. It's time to take action and get it done. And get it done. And get it done. And get it done. As Theodore Vale noted, real difficulties can be overcome. It's only the imaginary ones that are uncomfortable. The reason that I love that is because it is a powerful reminder. At the end of the day, you're choosing what to believe. At the end of the day, all those things in your head that seem like you could never get over them, 
You've made them up. You've decided to obsessively focus on those things. And as Oprah said, what we dwell on is who we become. And think about that for a second. Think about today. Just audit your thoughts. What did you spend your time thinking on? Did you obsessively think about the way that things could go right? Or did you obsessively think about the things that could go wrong? All the myriad ways that you need to protect yourself. And that's how it feels. In the moment, you think, I'm just planning for the worst case scenario. I'm thinking through all the ways that something could go wrong so that I can be prepared for it. Not understanding that what you're doing is focusing on all the ways that it could go wrong. They're imagined futures. They are not real. And in that, like a race car driver, goes where the eyes go. You will go where your thoughts go. You will become your thoughts. So instead of boxing yourself in and thinking only about all the different ways that something could be bad, could break, could fall to pieces. Think about all the things that you could do if you take the action. All the myriad ways that things could come to your aid and work out for the better. Obsessively think on that and let failure be a total fucking surprise. In that, you will take the actions that you need to be successful. But first, you've got to train yourself to obsess over all the ways your life could go right. From there, you'll act. To me, the reason that people say that knowledge is power is for one simple reason. As you accumulate it, it gives you the ability to do more. You literally become capable of more. You're able to bring knowledge into your life to literally transform what you're able to manifest in the world. And at the end of the day, the very definition of power for me is the ability to close your eyes and imagine a world and then open them and make that world come true. But the thing that holds people back is their own ego. And as Epictetus said, one cannot learn what they think they already know. And that's the danger. That's how people get themselves into trouble. It feels so good to know something. It feels like as you're collecting this information and becoming more powerful, you just want to focus on that. You want to sink into that feeling. You want to see yourself in the mirror as somebody capable, of somebody who's capable of more today than they were yesterday. And in that truth, because you are, but in that truth is a trap. And the trap is to begin to feel that you know something, to think of yourself as a master. That's why, as Socrates said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Because that's how you're going to get really powerful. That's how you're going to open yourself up to that knowledge, to bring it into your world. And even as you grow more powerful, even as you grow more capable, you're always looking for the ways that you're wrong. You're always looking for that next piece of information. You are always focused on how you can get better. And you really open yourself with the humility that most people cannot bring into their world. They cannot accept any vision of themselves as anything other than a master. But the master is the one who's trapped. The master is the one who calcifies. The master is the one so brittle they break. But the student, the student is always willing to learn. The student is looking for that opportunity. The student is trying to be around people that know more than they know so that they can learn, so that they can become more powerful, so that they can close their eyes, imagine a world, and then open their eyes and make that world come true. And at the end of the day, that should be the sole aim of your life, is to have something that you want to bring to this world, that you are going to be relentless about acquiring the skills that are going to allow you to do that. And the only way that you're going to be able to get there is to drop your ego and recognize there's power in knowing nothing. When your pursuit is to learn everything. Success is growth every day. Every day, 
If you go a couple days without feeling like you've changed something, if you've gone a couple days feeling like you're kind of the same as you were yesterday, then you get disgusted and you get frustrated. Like a man who hasn't had a meal, you get frustrated and you desire that growth. So why haven't I grown today? Why didn't I grow yesterday? What kept me back? Did I go back into some sort of comfortable pattern? When you're in the gym, don't count your reps. Just push until it hurts. And once it hurts, then start counting your reps. That's why when they ask Muhammad Ali how many push-ups he does, he said, I don't know. I only start counting when it hurts. So that's how we grow. That's how we succeed. As we push and push and push and go, and once it starts hurting, once the resistance starts coming, that's when we start counting. That's when we start to matter. So don't dodge the fear, don't dodge the pain, don't dodge the resistance, don't dodge the attack that is coming against you. Look at it with opportunity. Look at it as an opportunity to find victory. Victory is found in the struggle. The struggle is not to be avoided. The struggle is to be confronted. The struggle is to be welcomed with joy. That you finally have an opportunity to show God, to show the world, that you're ready for this fight. That you know you got your eyes on the prize. You know what your goal is. You know what your dream is. And you're going to demonstrate to God, to the world, that ain't no amount of struggle, ain't no high of an obstacle, ain't no strong army of hate and doubt gonna get in your way from this victory that is destined for your life, for this victory that is destined by you accomplishing your dream. You will accomplish your dream because your dream is never gonna give up on you. It'll stay with you. So army of doubters, army of haters, army of all those who said I never could, army of that voice inside of me that's tried to keep me down, army of that voice inside of me that's tried to keep me down, all of you will be slain one by one because the victory is mine.